Hello friends, uh, recently I have started a YouTube channel called Technology Mentor and uh, as part of this uh, I am providing multiple uh, playlists uh, to cover various uh, aspects in technology. For now primary focus is on Hadoop and uh, today I am starting a new series called Performance Tuning and uh, as usual it will be primarily focused on Hadoop for now but eventually I will be covering uh, many other technologies but for now I will be covering Hadoop and this uh, series is for those who already have some expertise in Hadoop if you are new to Hadoop and if you come to this probably you might feel this uh, to be little dry uh, but this is actually uh, I am creating this playlist uh, for those who have some experience or expertise in Hadoop and uh, before getting into uh, the agenda first i would like to talk about the counters which is uh, one of the very important topic which each and every hadoop professional uh, needs to understand and when you actually run the job uh, this is the output of the map reduce job which you have run uh, previously no need to worry about uh, the actual job but when you uh, run the job uh, it will emit a uh, lot of information in the form of counters and each and every uh, metric uh, that is emitted as part of the counters provide uh, valuable insight uh, to determine whether the performance is good or bad or even for benchmarking uh, your uh, uh, experiments to tune the performance all those things so uh, before getting into the main agenda i will just give you a brief introduction about these counters and then when we actually talk about uh, or when we actually play around uh, to tune the performance of, uh, of some of our uh, uh, MapReduce applications, I will show you uh, how, uh, uh, how it is behaving uh, by showing these counters. So for now just understand what these counters are and then we will review um, uh, uh, through, the, uh, through the playlist whenever we experiment uh, as part of the performance tuning effort. So the first counter is file system counters. As name suggests, it is all about uh, uh, file system. So it will talk about uh, how much uh, data it has read in bytes, uh, how much data it has written in bytes for, uh, uh, as part of the MapReduce uh, application and uh, several other aspects of it. And then there are job counters. It will tell uh, how many number of map tasks have launched, how many number of reducers have la launched, and uh, uh, how many um, local map tasks have launched. So to to give the perspective, if you go to the name node, we have uh, name node uh, web UI. And if you go to utilities and if you click on browse the file system, in our case, I have created uh, the deck of cards, a large deck, which is of size 700 MB uh, under the Cloudera user. So you can see this file, it is 693 MB file and block size is 128 MB. So there will be approximately, uh, I think uh, six blocks yeah, 0 to 5. So all the blocks are existing uh, on the same uh, VM. So there is only one uh, uh, one node in our case. So all the blocks are here. So uh, for each block, typically uh, a, a map task will be launched. A map task is nothing but a JVM. So a new JVM will be forked for each and every map task. And one, uh, this is a very key metric, data local map tasks it should be at least 99% uh, in a large job. If the data local map task uh, uh, hit ratio um, is less uh, than 99%, then there is some issue in our configuration and there will be a lot of side effects because of that. So this, this has to be close to 100%. All the uh, map tasks should be local to where the blocks are. And then uh, 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 there is another important MapReduce framework. And here 
yeah, you uh, it will tell you how many records are processed by your mapper how many records are emitted by your mapper uh, how many records are processed by your reducer etc so it it has uh, it will provide a lot of information and you need to understand this information uh, to determine whether uh, your programs are running effectively or not in most of the cases people make mistakes um, because they focus on the execution time and uh, that is the least thing to worry to determine whether your programs are running uh, um, effectively or not um, you have to focus on all these uh, metrics to determine whether your program is uh, uh, running effectively or not so don't rely on the execution time especially when you are talking about map reduce jobs uh, sometimes uh, uh, a job might uh, uh, run faster when there is not much load and uh, then it might take up all the resources and it might not let other jobs to run so you will understand all those things uh, uh, going forward uh, but for now what i want to make sure is you should focus on these metrics when you actually uh, uh, tackling the performance issues as part of your map reduce applications while tuning your map reduce applications and now i will talk about agenda uh, so this agenda is not uh, uh, fixed uh, i will add more and more as and when i i gain experience in this so far i have uh, i have dealt with all these uh, things and i have tuned performance significantly so i would like to share my experience in these areas going forward to the same playlist i will add uh, more and more topics uh, because performance tuning is always evolving you cannot say that performance tuning is done uh, uh, with it with, uh, with any software so um, for now these topics will be covered but more and more topics will be added eventually so as part of this for now i will be talking about split size number of reducers combiners how distributed cache helps us uh, tuning the performance and uh, compression uh, combined file input format uh, how to uh, uh, filter the data effectively and also jvm reuse uh, some of the topics i will cover only theoretically because it is very hard to reproduce uh, on uh, development or poc uh, on de- on labs or development clusters you need to have uh, it is not impossible or uh, uh, but it is very tedious and uh, uh, co- it can be complicated uh, to produce uh, uh, data to cover all these scenarios so some of the topics will be um, uh, will be theoretical but i will try to explain as clearly as possible uh, and that you understand the uh, concepts behind uh, idea behind it and you leverage those things as part of your Uh, as part of your map reduce application development okay uh, i hope you will enjoy the series um, yeah if you like it if you like this series please subscribe to the channel uh, connect with me in linkedin uh, and uh, uh, endorse me in hadoop and other te- uh, big data related technologies on my linkedin profile thank you